I am doing an interview with a really crazy guy. This is probably the most crazy guy in France. He lives in this car right here, currently in Vieux Bocal, and he has a very interesting story. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Louder. Bonjour. <laughs> Comment ça va? Ça va très bien. Très bien. Depuis quand tu parles français, toi? I don't speak any fucking French. <laughs> I know, I know. That's why I'm surprised that you speak French. I'm supposed I have to stop my, what I was doing. What were you doing? I was looking about the election shit video. Yeah, you don't, you have a problem with society, don't you? Uh, yeah, I don't like it. You don't like the society? I don't like humans in particular. No, but, but you like my cat. None of them. Yeah, cats, animals in general, I like them. Yeah, yeah. but mm. some animals you eat. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> But, but you, you, can, you can love them and hit them at the same time. But you also go into the woods and catch some animals, yeah, right? Yeah, sometimes to time, yeah. Yeah. When you're it's, out of, it's secret because it's forbidden. Yeah, when you're out of money, that's when you go out and grab some. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Yeah. Mm. And you tried to feed me some wild chicken a week mm. ago. Yeah, so. but you don't want... No. No. Because it's full of shit, yeah. parasites and worms and everything. Yeah. But you say it's added nutrition. Yeah, it's, it's like meat, you know. Every meat is good to eat, yeah. Including maggots and worms and everything. Yeah, and you yourself also. But this is also because of your French culture. You used to eat everything, right? Yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. every French people hate everything. <laughs> like Chinese. Yeah. Good. Especially Swedish. We love to eat Swedish. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, have you tried? Well, I'm going to try soon. Yeah, okay. I, I know a fat one, so... Fat, <laughs> fat guy. <laughs> After the video, okay? Yeah, see, I'm going to use this one. Yeah, you have to let me... You have to let me make this video first before you okay. eat me. Okay. Okay. No mm. I want you to give us a tour mm -hmm. of your car. Yeah. The outside of it. Okay. Which uh, doesn't look like it's much Lu of a car. Luxy or what? Yeah, like mine. It's fucking luxy. You think so? Yeah, I have a lot of windows here. And one in the top. And another one there. And, and this door is broken. Yeah. Because you needed to, you needed to break into your own car. Yeah, because I lost my keys, so I have to open it. Mm. Well, that that happens, I suppose, for all of us from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> happens, <laughs> shit happens. Yeah, yeah gosh. Yeah. And you have some uh, exos uh, workout exercise uh, be uh, beneath your car. Yeah, you know, you use it every day with me. Yeah, I do. Mm. Yeah, I still am fat. Wait, yeah, yeah, because you don't eat white. Is that it? It's not, it has nothing <laughs> yeah, to do Because you eat too much fat. Maybe, a, 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 maybe you as a personal trainer suck. Yeah, maybe also. <laughs> yeah, could be, could be this kind of shit. Okay, so let's see. Do you have any, do you have any cameras on the outside here? Uh, no, no any. No. I have a drone looking at us. You do? Yeah, but it's very silent, so you can hear it. Okay. Yeah. This guy is not in his right mind. Mm. This is your wardrobe. Mm. You have a bag down here. Yeah, this is for my toilet. That's for your toilet. Mm. You shit in the bag? Yeah, no, I, I have a special toilet. You have a special toilet? Yeah, I have a special toilet. I will show you later. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is my engine. Does it have an yeah. engine inside? Yeah, the huge one. Oh, nice. Yeah. You can go to the space with it. <laughs> okay. There's my food. I'm really rich, you know, I have parados, tomato, lemon, salad. Pasta. But you don't have a real fridge, right? No, I don't. That's why I hate fresh food all the time. This is my bathroom. This, this is, is the where bathroom I, mirror. This is where I shave. I used it like two years ago. Yeah, mm. that was the last time you shaved. That was the last time I shaved, yeah. <laughs> I shaved. This is your water system right yeah, here? Yeah, water system. Yeah. You put the water on your, uh, on, your, on your finger, and then you wash them. Oh, so you do wash? Yeah, yeah. sometimes. Some, it happens. One time a month, something like this. Yeah. Here is my toilet. You use dry and paper. So then it's, it's become like compost and you can put it in nature. And it's nothing to do with uh, chemical things. Mm. It's very natural. Do you also sit outside here when you shit? Yeah, some time to time. You grow some stuff here. Yeah, I do small bonsai because the big one on my, are in my sister garden. I have it no space here, so. These are baby trees. These are baby trees, are very, very small. All of them are coming from cuttings. That is to say, I take a piece of branch from another tree, and then I put it on the ground, and then I grow it by myself. And then you, you use wires 
You use wires, yes, after, and you can make movement, but if, for example, here, it was straight before, and now it get a lot of movement. And then you make it bigger and bigger and bigger, year after year. Oh, here is my back door. This is your back door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had to blur the license plate because this was stolen. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so here is my bathroom. Uh, We're standing in your bathroom yeah, now. So you close here. And here you have my shower, okay? So in, 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 in winter it's pretty hot. But in summer it's cool. Because yeah. yes, everybody can see my house. I don't make them pay, but I should. You should, yeah. So this uh, used to be your bathroom here. Yeah, it was. But I took everything out. I think I'm going to take this out also and just make shelves mm. to put stuff on it. So this is your kitchen. Uh, no, I have no kitchen, literally. The kitchen was in the front. So I use a little camping gas that I can put inside. And, and, but I don't like to cook inside. So that's why I hit salad most part of the time. And what, when the weather is good, I, I cook outside. Here is my principal room. It's like kind of my bedroom, my saloon, uh, my relaxing room. So in the morning I have to, to make my, uh, take out my bed and make a sofa. And uh, every night I have to make again my bed. This is the arrow you hunt uh, for food? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The arrows are there. Ah, oh, nice. But you have to use a special point. I don't know where is it. Yeah, here. For hunting you need to use that. This is for hunting. Oh gosh. And with this you can kill animals. It's a blade. Shit. Yeah. Looks like it can kill anything really. Yeah, humans also. Yeah, did you try? Did you want to try? Did you try to kill a human? Yeah, run. I'm gonna show <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this video, he didn't kill me yet. Yeah, not yet. I'm thinking about it seriously. Because you want my car? Because I want your car. <laughs> and your cat. Can I, then I can hit it. This is your main source of heat. Yeah, this is the only one I have. So if I have no electricity, uh, I am cold. Oil inside now. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't consume that much. So this is my desk. Oh, shit. See? Ah, nice. So this is where I'm working. I have my computer and all my stuff is there to write my books. Uh, this I'm going to put here. So this is a painting from my ex-girlfriend. Mm. She was a painter. I love it. She's a really good painter. But she hates you now, right? Uh, she hates me, yeah. Like, like all the women I crossed on my life, you know, they always ate me at the end. Yeah. They don't like free people. Do you, yeah, they want you to be slave of them. Mm. Because as long as you stay too long, you know, they start to break your balls. And uh, you become more and more normal and then that kind of scares you and you bounce. But I feel more normal than the other people. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess. I feel the other people think I'm crazy, but I think they are, because they uh, they always do the same mistakes, you know? Exactly. They go to a home, they get married, they divorce, they mm. make new kids with other people, and again and again and again, until they die, you know? Mm. It doesn't make sense. This is your hot water system for the shower? Yeah. I have to mix uh, three quarter with uh, cold water, and one quarter with uh, hot water. Mm. I have a heat boiler. It's under the sofa, so I can show you. It's an electric one, and when I don't have the electric one, when I move my truck, I have to use the gas. Then I boil the water. And then and you I, and the water. Yeah, exactly. This uh, statue over here, mm -hmm. uh, what is that thing? This is the Christ, because I'm Christian. I love it. I always have it in every cause I had. It protects you against bad people? Protects you about everything. Is uh, Jesus Christ dead or alive? Uh, it's in the middle. It's in the middle. He's, he's about to die, but he's not dead. Because he was, uh, he was hung, right? He was on the he cross. Was crucified. And crucified. So he, he's actually. So he died. Mm -hmm. He died. No, but that's the belief. I don't believe in that. I just believe in the, in the Christian words. So he's dead or he's alive? I, I don't care about that because this is the Catholic system, you know. So this is very important. For example, that so people always make a mistake between Catholicism and Christianity. Christ, first Christians don't believe that Jesus Christ is the. Uh, the son of God, and that he have a resurrection. You know? So we don't give a shit about that. We, when, when I read the book, you see, I, I, ha, I just read what the Christ says. And it's always good things. He's really a good guy. But after, the humans use it to make money, to make church, mm. you know, the Pope, the Vatican. Is this a Bible? This is a Bible, yeah. Look like something um, out of a haunted house. Yeah, it's a very old one. Jesus. I bought it a long time ago. 
And you don't you don't get any weird noises here at night coming out from like that stuff on the wall. Of course not. No. No bangs in the in the ceiling and stuff like that. No, but Chris, the the Christie is very cool, you know. He's, he's really he's a really good guy. People just believe in what people say is on TV, but they should read books. It's more important. Then they can have their own thinking. Most of people are stupid because they just believe in the things they hear, you know, and they are very lazy. You need to read a lot, lot of books, then you can have your own thinking. All the beliefs you yeah. have. It comes from books, from stuff you read. Yeah, but I have, I have to read, for example, heart. 10 different books uh, with uh, different opinions. Then I do with the 10 books my own opinions. Mm -hmm. Did you read any Bible criticism? Yeah, of course, but I can criticize myself the Bible. That's why I only believe in the words of Christ. What is the message? Be that? good with the others, be, uh, use the solidarity to them, live in poverty, do you need don't try to make money. To, do you, do you, to, do you need a God? Do you think I don't look at I'm, I'm living like the Christ every day. I yeah. have nothing. Well, me too. Yeah, so. Except all my credit cards. Yeah, yeah except uh, all the money you have on your bank account. That makes a big difference. <laughs> I have nothing. I mean, uh, I have nothing. I live with nothing. It's something like 300 euro a month and I have enough. Yeah. I yeah. continue writing my mm. books and I still believe in what I do. And I do my bonsai. Mm. I don't ask nothing to nobody. Mm. Every time I can help people, I do. You wrote this book. I'm very proud of this book. It's, it's telling a style I created in Bonsai. And it's a new style in Europe that no, nobody has never made. And uh, I hope many people will read it in the future. The small plants we saw outside. Yeah, this is real Bonsai, for example. This is what they will turn into. Yeah. How many years does it take before a small one grows so into this? This one, uh, I started from a seed. So it took me two, 12 years to make it. So buy it. Cosmic Bonsai, you can find my website on, on the web. Uh, here is my, my, my clothes. Yeah. So you can see I don't have that much, you know, I have a few, few pants, few shirts. I have one costume or two in the front. So sometimes I want to, uh, to be classy. And um, well, that's it. That's my life, you know. So as I told you before, I was living in Cambodia. I was bonsai master, so I was uh, working between Taiwan and, and Japan. And I had a motorbike, a house, and, uh, and yeah, I had a quiet life at that time. Sometimes I was traveling when I was boring. I, I was taking my bike and I was crossing the borders to Vietnam or to Thailand. But in France it's complicated because I don't have a licensed driver, so I can be arrested any time. You were on your way back yeah. when COVID happened, or shall we say government oppression happened. Yeah, that's it. They said when when I, uh, when I was living in Cambodia, I was coming back in France for an exhibition that is in Genk in the north of Belgium uh, to sell my trees and to get awarded. Then I was about to leave the 17th of March, and they blocked the airport the 15th. On only two days, I lost everything in Cambodia. They started to ask for attestation to get out of your home. A paper, a, a, a self-signed certificate. self-signed certificate that you can go shopping and you can do this and you can do that. So my owner in Cambodia took all my stuff out of my apartment and I had a 10,000 US dollar in, in an envelope, you know, it's just kind of treasury when you are traveling. So I lost everything, my, my motorbike, my stuff, everything. And uh, then I was in my mother's home and it was impossible to live with my father-in-law because he was alcoholic. And uh, then I decided to buy a truck and that's how I started to live in a truck. But that was not really a choice. It was more a surviving way. A necessity. A necessity, yeah. And you built this car, well, the interior, yeah. all by yourself. Yeah. I bought, I bought the truck like 1,000. 1,000 euros. 1,000 euros. And then I've made everything for 1,000 more. 1,000, 1,500, something like that. So everything cost me like 2,500. And I put all the rest of my money on it. Then after, I have to use the social help in France, you know. It's, it's funny how probably mm -hmm. 9 out of 10 people in this world has suffered in one way or another mm -hmm. from government oppression. Yeah, I see. Related to COVID. Mm -hmm. But there's a very few of us who have suffered from COVID long term at least. Yeah, for example, I'm not vaccinated and I never had the COVID for two years. I see thousands of people having the COVID all around me and they are all vaccinated. But I don't, I don't believe I lost everything I had because of the COVID. 
I lost everything I had because of the politic of, of because of, my, of the government. Of my government. Yeah, because the government have nothing to do like in that. You know, people are just following the information the government wants you to think about. You know, and one has to ask: uh, Did the government oppression? eradicate COVID in any shape or no. form? Did it no. solve the problem? No. Are we COVID free now? No, because all they want is want to make a slave. And for sure, they want has to be all vaccinated and to follow the rules. I have so. a hard time calling it a vaccine though. Mm. Uh, usually, uh, traditionally speaking, a vaccine is supposed to actually be effective, give you immunity exactly. for a very long time. So if you uh, get the vaccine, you should not get the COVID. COVID. And you should be immune for many, many years, yeah, not sure. just a couple of months or, or so, perhaps, maybe. Yeah. But there are real life consequences for people like yourself yeah. um, that is now living in a car because of the government. And I can go to a restaurant, I can go to the cinema, I can go to theater, I can, I can do nothing, you know, culturally. I can take a plane. That's the worst for me. I couldn't travel anymore. I spent all my life traveling all the time from a country to another. And then I had to stay in a truck, you know, without any money and without winning money because I can't work. And, and because as long as you don't have the vaccine, you can't work anymore. Locking people up in their houses, I fail to see how that is supposed to be uh, beneficial to public health. Yeah, yeah. I, I have no idea. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. But look, I have a house. To be locked up, in. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't have. You didn't, no. Yeah, so I have been in. The, I've been in the street. And I have a lot of trouble with the cops. I did quite well. I was uh, harassed by police uh, basically on a daily basis, mm. but there was nothing they could do about it. Mm. I was staying in these super fancy locations right next to the ocean, mm. and I was harassed by police every day. But they couldn't put me anywhere. They couldn't throw me out mm. because I was in my home. Yeah, that's the so, only good thing to be to be a kind of nomad because I don't consider myself nomad. I move; uh, they force me to move because I would like to put my truck somewhere and having a garden and accepting the situation as long as I can take a plane one day and leave this fucking country that I hate. My government don't do anything for free people. They want you to be stupid. They want you to be an obedient shit. That's all they want. And I'm really not this kind of guy. So all I want is to leave this country, to be honest. So it's a society that is creating poverty. And when you are poor, they are making you even more problem because you are poor, but they made you poor. They made you poor in the yeah, first place. In exactly. the first place. Exactly. Uh, because I, I was asking to continue working in Asia. I didn't want it to, to change my work. You know, Bonsai Master is, is a beautiful work. Trees are quiet. They never lie. They never make troubles. Yeah. I'm, I'm more comfortable with trees than with humans. Now that you live in a car, do you have any regrets? Is this life not um, well, a good one? It's about practice. It's getting better and better. To be honest, the, the first year I was about like killing myself because I lost my job, I lost my family, I, I lost most of my friends also, but I wanted to get vaccinated and they pushed me to get vaccinated. People are turning crazy. And especially I want to keep my immunity system, immune system. Uh, yeah, so, like yeah. hashtag pure blood. <coughs> hashtag pure blood, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's it, really. Yeah, it's first with good interview, I see. I think that's it. We should it. make uh, something like a uh, final. Something we agree together, or something like that, you know? Let's try another. Um, I think you could finish by like, uh, uh, what, what can I wish for you? You want to do something good for no, me? No, you, you, you say, what can I wish for you? No, because you do the interview to me. I can ask you the question, no problem. That was the interview. I think. Anything else you like to add? No, uh, nothing special. Uh, so, what can I wish for you in the future? Well, do you have a daughter? <laughs> <laughs> no, look at me. I never made kids. Yeah? <laughs> I think I would have been a fucking bad father. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and we'll see you another time. So subscribe this channel. Oh, I fucking kill you. And this guy, <laughs> it's gonna kill you with an arrow. <laughs>